So based on our conversation from yesterday about smaller movements and working into building strength on more of the eccentric, concentric, push-pull motions, uh, we are going to be doing a strength-based workout today. So yesterday we did a whole lot of cardio, we moved fast, we jumped around, and then we let our heart rate drop with some core. Today we're going to be doing the opposite of that um, by really focusing on targeting specific muscles and movements and working into some of the smaller movements for those spaces. So go ahead and pop the armbands on if you're not already there. Um, we are going to be doing a warm up, and we're actually going to be doing our warm up once before the portion of the workout, upper body and lower, and once after. Uh, the warm up is not for cardio purposes, it's just to kind of loosen up the muscles and get a little range of motion uh, before we really fire up that strength. So, the warm up for the upper body is going to be on the hands and knees. It's going to be 30 seconds, and this is meant to be taken nice and slow, 30 seconds of circles with one arm. You're going to do 30 seconds of circles with the other. We're going to do 30 seconds of cat-cow to get into the spine. And then we're going to flip the palms and do 30 seconds of wrist release. Okay? So go ahead and start to make your way down onto your workspace. Uh, root the wrist underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And for our first 30 seconds, let's start with the left arm. Go ahead and just start to draw as big a circle as you can, opening up that shoulder. And I want to do my best not to let the rest of my body move. So firing up the body with some mobility work, just to open everything up to get started. Good. And while we're doing our warm up, our intervals today are 40 seconds. We're gonna go through each exercise three times. And the goal is to work so hard that you actually can't quite finish that last interval. Good, right arm, move through it. And work hard today does not mean fast, it means precise. So smaller range of motion, more muscle contraction. And I'll walk us through all of it. Good. And last 10. Take one more big circle. And go ahead and root the hands into the mat underneath the shoulders. Lift the chest and tailbone. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, round up the spine. So we've got 30 seconds of cat cow. Instead of how many you can do, think how much you can arch and round the back working into spinal extension and spinal flexion. And a lot of these exercises are familiar. We are going to be shortening our range of motion though. Make them a little bit more hard. Good. Last 10. And one more for four, three, two, and one. Flip the hands, last 30 seconds, open up the wrist, just rocking backwards and forwards as much as you can. Being really gentle here. If you can't straighten out your arms, I want you to work your arms up towards straight. Nice. And after this, we will hop on up for our first exercise. Coincidentally enough, right now we're stretching our forearms as well as our wrists, and that's the first thing we're gonna work. Last 10. Warming up the wrists. Just give me two more, four, three, two, and one. Get those wrists to roll. I'm gonna stay on my knees just so you can see me. Feel free to come onto your knees or up to stand. First 40 seconds are our upward wrist curl. Now, instead of fully pulling my hands up and down like this, I want you to focus on pulling up and just dropping down half an inch, up half an inch, down half an inch, up half an inch. 
it's really shortening that range of motion. And you're going to hear me say this over and over and over again. Try and keep your movement smaller than one inch today. So let's go ahead. Let me restart my cycle. Cool. All right. 40 seconds, little wrist curls, very small, up half an inch, down half an inch, up half an inch, down half an inch. So I really want to keep this muscle contracted the entire time. At no point do I let it release. So I'm shortening the forearm to build up strength. Good. And it's hard. The smaller movements get tiring really quickly. That's what we want. Tiny baby squeezes. Good. See if you can make them even smaller. That's it. Last 10. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. So let's see if we can go even slower, even more precise on our second set. Shoulders away from the ears. Lift the wrist, the hands up towards the forearm. Little micro curls right here. Next 40 seconds. Up, up, up. That's it. Try and keep your, the back of your hand as close to your forearm the whole time you're doing this without letting the elbows bend. Oh my goodness. Nice. Good. Doesn't have to be fast. But don't ever lose the tension in your muscle as we're doing this last 15 seconds. Up, up, pull the shoulders away even more. After this, we have our last set, and my goodness, the forearm should be on fire. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Good. And final set. Pull the backs of the hands up. Try and almost keep a 90-degree angle there the whole time as you shorten that angle. Smaller, smaller. Last 40 seconds. Let's do it. Up, up, up. Micro moves, maximal muscle output. And the good news is, is because we're not doing a cardio portion today, we will not be doing any jumping or bouncing, which I know a lot of people are probably happy to hear. Good. Good to see some swimmers on. Missed you guys. Last 15 seconds. Burn it out. Up, up. If you want to add speed here, that's fine, but keep those moves really small. Lift, lift, lift. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, all right. Next up, we have a tricep extension. We know this one well. Same thing though. I'm extending, making fists. I'm going out an inch, in an inch, out an inch, in an inch. So I'm fully extending my arms, bringing my hands just in one half inch and out again. As you're doing this, no sloppy shoulders, keep pulling them back and down so that all the muscles of the back of the arm are working. So let's start with our arms fully extended. And I want you to actually imagine that you're, you have two like massive rubber bands, right? And you're pulling those rubber bands. You would not be able to just pull them. It would be tiny, in an inch, out an inch, okay? 40 seconds, we're going in three, two, one, in an inch, out an inch, in an inch, Add an inch, that's it, keep it small, keep it precise. Good. And I don't know what the heck I did on Monday, but apparently I was going crazy on my triceps and they still burn a little bit. Good, fully extend those arms back, back, great. Last 10, give me five. Four, three, two, extend and hold, little pulses at the very tip top. Eight, seven, punch those fists back behind you even more. Five, four, three, two, and one, release, roll the shoulders out. All right, we've got two more sets. Remember, you can always adjust your cycle if you wanna make it a little easier, a little harder. We know the work that we're doing here now. Bend the elbows, extend the arms fully straight back behind you. Draw the shoulders down. Second set in three, two, and one. In an inch, add an inch. In an inch, push it out. Pulse, pulse, pulse. 
Yes. Now we're talking. Fire. And oftentimes we pulse our arms in our workouts, but now today the workout is the pulse. Whew. Burn it. Make it so hard that you may or may not even be able to finish the set and then keep pushing. Very safe exercise. You can do it. Give me 10. Good. Fully extending through the pinky fingers. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Tricep stretch to release. Right hand between the shoulder blades. Take the left hand, guide it back behind you. All right, here we go. Three, two, straighten the arms out. Pulse, pulse, pulse. There we go. Good. Uh-huh. See if you can make those movements even smaller. So my upper part of my arm doesn't move. It's not bobbing up and down. It's just out, out, out. Yes. Ooh, I love it. Last 15 seconds, bring it home. Oh, such a good crew today, such good work. Go Gabe, amazing. Give me five, four, three, two, straight arms, little lift at the very tip top, up and up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest, roll the shoulders out. Good job. I'm curious on our break to see how this feels. Because for me, it's really hard. All right, next up, bicep curls. Keeping a short range of motion for these ones too. So I want to contract my bicep, really focus on in, down, in, down. I'm not only feeling that resistance as I pull my fist in, also imagine you're pulling something away from your shoulders. So I'm dragging something in, pulling something away. So moving equally as hard in one direction. So it's not just a pulse flop, it's in, squeeze out, squeeze in. You've got the idea, okay? Make those fists, pull them in. First 40 seconds, let's go. Pulling out, pulling in, pulling out, pulling in. Keep it small. Do not let the tension drop the whole time you're working, pull it out, tug in, out, in. There we go, yes, squeeze the biceps the whole time, in, out, and in. There we go, last 15 seconds. Good, nice and slow, whew. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Reach the arms back behind you, get a stretch in the bicep. Next set, I want us to keep that same pace. Try and do it nice and slow, contracting your muscles so that you cannot move fast. You're working so hard. Hands in, make fist. Restart your cycle from your stop like mine. 40 seconds, here we go. Pulling in, pulling out, pulling in, pulling out. Yes. Keep your spine, your body stable the whole time. Squeezing biceps, squeezing elbows in, squeezing fists. Keep it up. Good. Yes. Amazing. Work those upper bodies. Last 10. Great, Diane. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got some veins going on in my biceps. 
that's good stuff. That's what we want. So check your arms. Maybe you see some veins. If you do, awesome. If not, you're doing great as well. All right. We've got one more set. Now we know how to play with this range of motion, right? So, so far we've only been doing our range of motion at the very top. On this round, I still want you to keep your range of motion really small, but you can pick where you want your range of motion to be. So we can be up here still, or you can even take it down to 90 in an inch, add an inch, in an inch, add an inch. So picking where you want to be, as long as you have a smaller angle than 90 degrees, I'm happy. Okay, so play with it. Make it interesting, make it fun. Last set, ready? Three, two, one. Up slowly, pull down slowly. So this is when we, I say, imagine that you're holding like a hundred pounds of weight in each hand. What would that look like? That's the range of motion and the speed that we're working at. Woo, and I'm squeezing my fist like heck because if I'm holding 200 pounds of weight in my hands, I sure as heck do not want to drop it. And down. Squeeze up and down. Good. Half done. Ooh, pulling the elbows into the midline of the body the whole time. Oh, now add another 50 pounds to that weight. How slow would you go? Burn. Mm -hmm. Last 10. See if you can do one and only one more rep. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Ooh, bicep stretch. Clasp the hands. Okay, we have two more upper body exercises. These ones are fun. It's push up, play. So you come down into either hands and knees slightly easier or plank position slightly harder. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I want you to try and lower down for a count of five and push up for a count of five. So it looks like this, five, four, three, two, one. Hover, push up, five, four, three, two, one. So if we're doing 40 seconds of time, you should not be doing more than six or seven of these at the most. You're moving so slowly. No, 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 four four of them because it's a total of 10 seconds, okay? So keep that in mind, only three or four in total. So go ahead and make your way into plank or hands and knees. Apparently I can't count today. Yesterday I couldn't really speak English, so you know, you never know what you're gonna get. All right, first 40 seconds, here we go. Set yourself up whichever way, lower down. Five, four, three, two, hover, press back up. Five, four, three, two, hold, keep going. Do your best not to let your chest hit the ground. I want you to hover off the floor and use the muscles of your chest to keep you there. It's a lot harder than a normal push up. Yes, Gabe, awesome. Keep your hips, your glutes engaged as you press back up. Nice one. Good. Last 10 seconds. You should only be doing one more rep. Mm -hmm. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. You can roll the shoulders out, whatever feels good. So it's really weird to only do four push ups in a 40 second round, but everyone looks so good. One thing I noticed, and those that I could see, is that as you were coming down and as you were pressing back up, we all kept our hips flat. We weren't sagging out, which is the most important thing here is that we're using our muscles, all of them, to keep our spine straight. So let's set up for our next set. 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Lower down for a count of five. Hold at the bottom, don't let your chest touch. Press up for a count of five. Great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good. That hold at the bottom is one of the hardest parts. That's how we get stronger. Last 10 seconds. 
Good. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. And rest. Good. Good. Move everything around. Whew. We have one more set after this. Okay? We're doing great. Was that our last set? I'm losing my mind here. No, I think we have one more. We have one more. <laughs> well, we're going to do one more because those look so good. All right. Start to make your way back into your plank position. Essentially, it's only four more push-ups. Can you do it? Absolutely. If you need to do it on your knees because you're getting tired, do it on your knees, but keep working the movement. Time is going in three, two, one. Let's go. Great. Good. We are already half done. Mm -hmm. Two more. Last 10 seconds, see if you can do one more. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh my goodness, good job. The next move we're gonna be is just as precise, but instead of working the, chest, the, the muscles of the chest, we're gonna work specifically more into the muscles of the back. So it's shoulder protraction and retraction. I make my way back into plank. I keep my arms straight. I drop my chest down and up, down and up. So my shoulders are protracting and retracting, moving each way with my straight arm, okay? So go ahead and make your way back into plank position. First 40 seconds, we're going in four, three, Two and one. I drop my chest down. I press up. Down and up. And if you need to do it on your knees, that's okay. Try not to let your elbows bend the whole time you're working into it. Good. Awesome, guys. Last 10. Keep going, keep going. These are important muscles. They help with posture a lot. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. Whew. I see people like flopping. <laughs> Does it look good? It look good? Second set. Come back into plank. Okay to do it on your knees. We're going in three, two, and one. Down and up. Down and up. It's small, but oh my goodness, it is significant. Good. And if you need to pause and plank, pause and plank. You're still building strength. You're still doing the work. We're already half done. After this, we're gonna stretch it out and then we'll swap out our bands and have the question of the day. Give me 10. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, so on our hands and knees, 30 seconds, let's release everything. We're doing our shoulder circles, left arm, all the way back and around. Guys, it's so great. Good, and working into the right arm, circle it out. See if you can go a little bit more slowly and increase your range of motion. It's not mobility day, but we did a lot of strength building. 
Well, let's release some of that work. Good. And as you drop the right hand, 30 seconds, cat cow, lift the chest, the tailbone, and round it out. Lift it up and release. After this, we're going to take our wrist and forearm stretch, and then we'll swap our bands. Good. And start to make your way onto the backs of the hands, being gentle. If you have wrist issues, you can just circle them around. Otherwise, coming onto the backs of the hands, start to shift backwards and forwards as you straighten out the arms. All right, last 10, three, two, and one. Go ahead and release the wrist, give them a roll. Let's swap out our bands, a much slower pace today, but my goodness, you guys look good. So as we take a sip of water, swap out our bands from arms to legs, we have our question of the day. And the question of the day is, if you could compete in any Olympic activity, what would it be? And swimmers, I know that one might be a little bit obvious for you guys. Um, so you can say if there's a specific race that you can compete in, what would that be? And for the rest of us, I don't care how good you are at any athletic activity. It's just what would you want to compete in? <laughs> oh, boy. I see fingers working. Steve says 100-meter dash would be nice. But winning the decathlon would be cool. <laughs> I see Damon says Ironman. John says kiteboarding big air. George says judo. Quentin says 400 meter IM, or if not swimming, then basketball. Diane says synchronized swimming. Guys, this is like the best answers, the most responsive gotten to any of our questions. John says curling. He says water polo or kayaking. Gabe says pole vaulting or 200 free. Sophia says water polo. All right, we have an interesting mix. <laughs> oh, not bicep curling from John. <laughs> All right, and I would say for me, uh, that's hard. I'm a warm weather person, but I might like take the leap just for this one particular one and go winter Olympics and do snowboarding. Northern California girl at heart and I do love Tahoe and I love to ride. All right, swap out those bands, grab a sip of water and for our lower body warm up, once we get all hooked in, that was an awesome mix of activities. Okay. So for our lower body warm up, we're going to do 30 seconds of hip cars. So basically same thing as the shoulders, just with the hips. We're doing 30 seconds left leg. As you're doing this, I want you to keep your heel pulled into your butt the whole time. Okay, so none of this stuff, keep it tight. We're doing 30 seconds the other leg, and then we're gonna come up to stand for 30 seconds of good morning to open up the backs and hamstrings, and then we'll jump into our strength-based work. So go ahead and make your way down onto your knees. First 30 seconds, pull your left heel into your butt, keep it there the whole time. Start to draw as big a circle as you can with that leg. Time is rolling. Nice. Pull the heel in even more. Might as well build some strength while we're here. Get that hamstring firing. Ooh, get that leg all the way up. Now we're talking. Good. Three, two, and one. Pull the left heel in towards your butt. Keep it there. Circle it out. And as I'm doing this, my arms are not bending because I'm not working my arms. I'm targeting my hip joint. 
And we only have one exercise that we're doing on our hands to go today. So if your wrists are getting a little bit tired, I'm sorry, you'll get some relief soon. Good, pull your heel in towards your butt even more. Get that knee up high. Good, give me five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Last 30 seconds, hands to opposite shoulders, keeping the legs straight or with a small bend in the knees, flat back, hinge forward. And come on up, take it down and come on up. Each time dropping a little bit deeper into that stretch. Think the same thing we did with cat cow when we were arching our back. That's what we wanna do here. We don't wanna let our spine round. Awesome, last 10. Give me five, four, three, two and one all right lower body is warmed up and good to go first exercise we are moving range of motion one inch is the heel lift so i get my heels off the floor i drop them down an inch up an inch down an inch up an inch you want more of a challenge make your range even smaller half an inch little baby pulses here we go make your way onto your toes 40 seconds we're going in three two and one micro pulses up 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 work those heels and i want to be standing with my feet about hip distance apart or even narrower and my feet are parallel facing forward up up yeah that's it and these get really difficult really quickly Ooh, last 10 seconds up up even higher go for it eight seven six five four three two and rest good job try not to let the heel touch the ground the whole time we do this if you need a little bit more help with balance and stability you can always hold on to a wall or a chair here anything to keep your heels from touching the floor is our main focus okay the so second set heels up 40 seconds, we are going. Little pulses, up, up, up. Maybe make that range of motion one quarter of an inch, working into our calves. Good. Continue to grow taller as you do this from the tip top of your head. Oh, it should be starting to burn. Half done. Those heels up even higher. Yes, you can do it. Last 10, all the way. Lift, lift, lift. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one rest. Now in this round, we're gonna be some, doing something a little bit different. And I mean a very, very little bit different because there's only so much you can do here with your heels. This time, we're gonna move slower. I want you to hover your heels off the ground, then slowly lift them all the way up. So imagine you have that 100 pounds of weight resting on your shoulders, lowering down slowly, don't let your heel touch, lift all the way up, okay? Slightly bigger range, let lot slower move. Heels off the ground, last 40 seconds. Hover them off the ground, press up as slowly as you can. Lower down, slowly press back up. If you had 100 pounds of weight on your shoulders, you would not be doing anything fast here. And working the muscles each direction. And lift. Yes, powerful. Good, last 10. See if you can do only one more rep, six. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Next up, we have hamstring curls. We visited these on Monday and we'll be visiting them again with a small range of motion. Because we have two hamstrings, we are going to be doing four sets of these. So, whichever leg you want to start with does not matter to me. You can take a hand to a wall. You can take your hands to your hips, pick one heel off the ground. 
Now find a 90 degree angle in your knee. I want you to go up to three, down to three, up to three, down to three. But at no point does my shin drop below a 90 degree angle with my knee. So it's not here, it's here to here. Here to here, okay? 40 seconds, ready? Here we go. And I want you to lower the heel away from the butt just as slowly as when you contract it up. Good, keep going. Awesome. Quentin, get your foot off the floor. Thank you. <laughs> Good, it's fine to hold on to something here. That does not matter to me. What does is your range of motion. Nice, George, last 10. Mm -hmm. It's gonna burn, I know, one more. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Quentin, sorry to call you out. It's only out of love. You're doing awesome. All right, other leg. <laughs> Heel up. Time is going. Up to three, down to three. Up to three, down to three. It makes it a lot harder when we have to go slowly. Now notice if you're arching your back or rounding out, keep a nice straight spine. And do your best to keep your knees in line with one another. Up, two, three, down, two, three. Awesome. Last 10 seconds. Give me only one or two more good ones in that time. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Great. All right, we've got one more set. Come back to your starting leg. Take that heel off the floor. All right, so for this one, I encourage you to move slow, getting your heel as close to the butt as you can. And if you wanna take an even smaller range of motion here, as long as you're moving slowly, it's a good exercise for me. 40 seconds, here we go. Try and drop the foot as slowly as you lift it, controlling not only up, but also down. And I'm a broken record, so I'm gonna let you guys keep going. After this, we're gonna do the other side, then we're gonna take a sip of water. Even though we're not bouncing off the wall today, it's important to stay hydrated, especially while wearing our band. Sophia and Sydney, awesome balance, great job, girl. Should be cramping out. It should be burning. Last 10. Grow a little bit taller if you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, Jim. Good job, work, gang. Let's do our last side and then we'll take a sip of water. Okay, heel up, knees back, 40 seconds. Let's go. Very small. And down. In and down. Good, just like we did with our push-up, we wanna pause at the top, squeeze, control the lower. Lift, squeeze, control the lower. Great. Good. Nice, Gabe. Last 10. Give me four, three, two, and rest. Oh my goodness. Water all around. Grab it, sip it. All right. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to keep rolling. Cool. Cool. All right. So we've been working the backs of our legs. We've worked our calves, we've worked our hamstrings, and did we work them? Let's work into our quads, and also even higher up the backs of the legs, our glutes. So we're firing every single muscle today. It is a wall squat. Now, because we don't necessarily all have a wall, and we don't necessarily need a wall, 
You're going to come into a squat position as if you had a wall behind you. And then you're gonna pulse down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch for 40 seconds, okay? So step the feet a little bit wider than hip distance, angle the toes out. Drop your butt down into imaginary squat position. Now I want you to keep your spine straight because we wouldn't be doing this if we had a wall behind us. Sorry, there's a siren going by my house. Get the spine nice and straight. Press those outer edges of the knees open. Don't let them get sleepy. 40 seconds. Here we go. Down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch. If you want more of a challenge, drop your hips even lower. These guys should be going so strong that you are almost or not able to complete the set. And you can do whatever you want with your hands. I like to hold my hands just for stability. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Now the weight should be in your heels. Your toes have no weight or maybe even are not touching the floor. Last 10, drop even lower. Squeeze, press the knees open. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Couple butt kicks, release it. Good. Second set. Step those feet, slightly wider than hips, angle the toes out. Maybe even lift your toes off the ground as you set up into the position, and then release them down, but keep the weight distribution the same. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. We're rolling. Good. If you had a wall behind you, your back, your head, it would all be pressed against the wall. I would not be slouching out. So keep that in mind. Keep pressing the knees open. Keep going. Half done already. Oh, Diane, great. Chest up, everyone. Stay tall. Last 10. Ooh, drop even lower into it. Go for that full burn. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Butt kicks, release the quads. We've got one more set after this. All right. All right. Final set. Step into your spot position. Angle the toes slightly out, drop your butt down, nice and tall. Last 40 seconds of our squat, down an inch, up an inch. Good. Maybe make that range of motion even smaller. So again, imagine we had 100 pounds on our shoulders, we would not be bobbing, we'd be going up very slowly, down very slowly, up and down. Woo, 15 more seconds. You can do it. We didn't come this far to give up now. Last 10, drop even lower. Give me only four more moves. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, my goodness, great job. We have one more exercise here. So we've worked our calves, we've worked our hamstrings, we've worked our glutes, we've worked our quads. We need to give the outer parts of our hips a little bit of love too. So I said we had one more exercise on our hands and knees today, and this one is it. So I come back down into my hands and knees, and this sets us up perfectly to do our cool down, which is the same as our warm up. So I lift my leg up into a fire hydrant position, I go out an inch, in an inch. Press my foot out an inch, in an inch. Now, is this knee sad or is it in line with your hip? I want your knee all the way in line with your hip and your arms nice and straight. No sagging out, okay? So starting with the left leg, here we go. Out an inch, in an inch. Out an inch, in an inch with that foot. Keep lifting the outer edge of your knee the whole time. Good. Get that knee up even higher. Make that move even smaller. Out and in. Now check your right arm. Make sure it's not bending. Keep pushing the floor away from you the whole time. 
Last 10. Get that knee up even higher in line with your hip. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down. Nice. Let's work into the right leg. Make sure that left leg is strong. Lift that right knee up. Knees in line with the hip. 40 seconds. Here we go. Out an inch. In an inch. Back an inch. Forward an inch. That's the stuff. Working every muscle in our leg. Good. This time, check your left elbow. Make sure it's not compensating. Flex the foot. Make that move even smaller. Try half an inch. Nice. Last 10. Knees up. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and press your butt back for a moment. Give the wrist a release. And let's set ourselves up for our last set of the day. Make your way onto hands and knees. Now, this time it's a slightly different move, same muscles. I lift my left leg up. I lift up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Little pulses up. But I want you to move slowly. One two, one, two, okay? 40 seconds, here we go. Maybe even up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. I like that even more, yeah. Up, up, down, down. Check that right elbow, make sure it's not bending. Nice. Pull the heel in towards the butt a little bit more. Keep the hamstring active as well. Fantastic. Good. Last 10. Mm -hmm. Give me one more. Up, up, down, down, and rest. All right. Last one of the day. Lift your right leg up. Check the left elbow, make sure it is not bending. One inch of movement, up, up, down, down. Time is going. Good, the hips are the biggest muscle group in the body. Let's make them very strong. We're getting a little upper body workout in here too, just supporting ourselves and some core. What do you know? Everything's working. Good. Get those knees up even higher. Do not let them come back together. Try and keep the knee in line with the hip the whole time. Last 10. Give me one more rep as high as you can go. Up, up, down, down, and rest. Press the butt back to the heels. Get a quad stretch in. And we're going to cool down our legs the same way we warm them up. First 30 seconds, pull the left heel in towards your butt. Keep it there. Circle it around. Release the hip. And let the rest of the body move. We're experts at doing this now because we've been practicing. Last 10. Give me only one more of your biggest circle of the whole day. Yes. Amazing and rest. Pull the right heel in towards your butt. Keep it there. Imagine you're holding a ball in between your knee and your hamstring or in your knee crease. And keep that imaginary ball in there the whole time as you go through a big range of motion. Awesome. We did a ton of core yesterday and we've been working our core to some degree to stabilize our body today. So we don't have any core. We're just gonna take our last stretches and then I'll send you on your way. Good, one more big old circle, biggest one of the day. 
We'll do some core tomorrow and Friday as well. Good, and rest. And go ahead and tuck those toes. Lift your hips up and back. Pedal it out. And walk your hands back to meet your feet. Roll up to stand, which is perfectly priming us for our last 30 seconds of work, which are good mornings. Hands to opposite shoulders, keeping the legs straight or straight-ish and the spine flat. Hinge forward and rise on up. And even these ones, I'm taking really slow so I can get deeper and deeper into that stretch, allowing the hamstrings, which have done a lot of work contracting, to release. Good, last 10 seconds. Give me one more of these. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand, give the shoulders a shrug. Since we spent some time again on our hands and knees, clasp the hands open up across the chest, if you're not doing this stretch every day, you should. It's a good one. Great way to open up these muscles so we're not hunching out the whole time. Gives your biceps a stretch. Just love it. Good. Lift those arms up even higher. Open it all up. Yeah. And release the hands. Bring your palms together. Fantastic job. That was slow at times painful, and we did it, and we did a darn good job of it. Thanks, guys, for your hard work. Thank you, thank you. Um, I, uh, Laura, if you could stay on, I have a cover of our latest magazine that you might be interested in, and I'm gonna awesome. share the screen and surprise you. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, it's awesome. There oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> nice. that is it's our love. <laughs> You're gonna be famous. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so we're just finishing up. It's a digital magazine, and as soon as we get it, we'll send it out to everybody. With Thank all your work. You. <laughs> that made my day. Yeah. Thank you guys. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> Take care. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Bye, guys.